How many of you guys have had a Admin Dev Registry? Okay. Um, how many of you guys can give raise your hand which consists of a caffeine addict? Um, how many of you guys have had, ever had an experience where you're at uh, somewhere like a coffee shop or a restaurant where you had a meaningful connection with someone or you got to know someone? So now I'm going to talk about why everyone should be drinking more coffee. <laughs> so first, I'm going to talk about the health benefits of coffee. And secondly, and more importantly, I'm going to talk about the social benefits of coffee and how it can bring everyone together, and um, especially as a college student. So first off, the health benefits of coffee. So according to the Boston College School of Psychology, um, there is a really big improvement in memory in the early mornings uh, when consumed by college students. Uh, they surveyed a lot of people and did it in morning and the afternoon, and they found out, especially in the morning, um, there's a really big difference in people who did consume coffee than they didn't. They had a lot better um, ability to uh, recall things. And secondly, mental health. Um, according to the Artemisville School of Medicine in Iran, uh, they found that the psychoactive components of caffeine were really good for reducing symptoms of depression and like an overall mood booster. So I know like when I have a cup of coffee, I can certainly feel, feel ready to take on the day, feel like I'm in a better mood. Third, heart health. So according to the New York Times, uh, coffee can reduce cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. And then another Harvard study cited that overall uh, risk of death in people who consume three to five cups of coffee a day by any cause is reduced by 15%. And the most striking statistic that I found in all this research was from that Harvard study that said people who um, commit suicide are 50% less likely to be out of like uh, regular caffeine consumer. So I thought that was really interesting. Secondly, the community. So according to the Clinical Nutrition Journal, they surveyed uh, about 1,200 college students all across the world, um, or all across the country. Uh, in five colleges, and they found out that 92% of people consume caffeine on a regular basis in our age group. And um, they found that it's mostly females who consume coffee, and the number one reason for drinking coffee is to feel more awake. So about 80% of the people said that that was their number one reason was to feel more awake. Uh, other reasons why people drink coffee uh, are mood, uh, stress relief, the taste of coffee, and the social aspects of coffee, so getting together. So when Starbucks opened in the Pension Library a few years back, it instantly became a really big uh, campus hotspot. Uh, caffeine consumption increased drastically um, across campus right when this opened. Um, I know like most of my meal points went towards Starbucks rather than the cab. Um, so, alumni Julia Donlin, uh, there was an article about her in Pepperdine Graphic. She's quoted as saying that she was frustrated with the social climate of Pepperdine. Everything felt very surface level. So, what Julia did was she started something called Coffee Monday. And on Coffee Monday, Julia would find someone, uh, either a student, a professor, a coworker, someone she didn't know that well, but she knew of, someone maybe a classmate. And she'd ask them to sit down and she'd sit at these outside tables um, at Starbucks, and she would get to know them. And she found out that her she was able to foster a lot more uh, meaningful relationships just by having this medium of coffee to sit over something to do. Um, I know like inviting someone to, without an activity to do is kind of hard, and it's a little less uh, likely to happen. But she found that um, the Starbucks like really <coughs> kind of, uh, socially. A couple of weeks back, Chris, fellow classmate Chris Grant, uh, approached me asking me why I drink so much coffee. And we come and we start talking, and I found out he had never tried coffee at that point. He had no idea what it tastes like. 
Um, so I was distraught. And I don't know how to do something about it. So Chris and I drove to Santa Cruz. Uh, we went to Burke Coffee, Coffee Roasters, like my favorite coffee shop. So we had to do it big. And like I said, we never tried coffee. Um, so this environment of the coffee shop was perfect for us um, to get to know him. I didn't really know Chris before then. Um, and through the atmosphere and the welcoming and like open environment of a coffee shop, everyone's very friendly. Um, everyone's having good conversations. It really fosters a great environment and community for um, for getting to know your peers. And so I got to learn about Chris's family, his passions, um, his love for Tom Lanady. Now we're best friends. <laughs> All right, so this is Max Gualtieri. He's the owner of Jules and Watts Malibu. It's a coffee shop that's located down in the country mark. So during uh, COVID, I walked into his coffee shop and I said, hey, I don't have any money. Um, can you give me a job? And he was like, yeah. And <laughs> it was great. And um, so I got to work there all the way up until the beginning of school. So um, I asked Max, uh, I told him I was doing a speech and asked him if he could sit down for a couple questions. So first I asked him how he's seen the coffee shop bring students together because he just opened last year. So he opened right in the middle of quarantine. And he said that he saw right away a big um, community boost towards uh, all of Malibu once Pepperdine came back. And he saw that the coffee shop became a hub for like gathering, making plans, sharing ideas, and overall added um, a lot of depth to the community. So another uh, quote from Max is that, after the first and second space of uh, being work at home, he found that coffee shop is a great third space to feel safe and congregate with your peers. Secondly, I asked him how coffee has affected his social life. And he told me that he has entirely new social circles based off just as customers. And I know I can say the same. I met a lot of really cool people in the coffee shop. Um, it's a really great environment. Uh, everyone's really happy at coffee shop, in my opinion. OK, so to review, um, I talked about the health benefits of coffee, which include mental health, the social health, and um, a lot of physical and cognitive benefits. Secondly, the social benefits. Um, after my interview with Chris and my interview with Max, uh, I was able to, even just that, both of those were over cups of coffee. And it, it was uh, really great to get to know them over in this environment. Now for my solution. <laughs> so I went to Jules this morning, and I brewed this batch of coffee. And now everyone, <laughs> It's a light roast wash process coffee from the San Lorenzo region in Colombia. Um, it's really good. Uh, I love South American coffee. It's uh, got notes of dark chocolate and mixed berry. So if you guys are uh, want a taste of coffee, I bought these little cups and I just made this. So let's drink some coffee. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.